Hey everybody, I have a very quick, easy, fun fretboard method for you today. So I got a message on Patreon from David, and he says, One of the many aspects of your playing that I really dig is the vibrato when you're doing your whole step bends. It would be a cool lesson to see tips on how you developed that. Well, thank you for asking that question, David. And yes, that is something that is very unique to my playing. I absolutely love doing vibrato on all notes. That pretty much comes from listening to guys like Peter Green. He's probably one of the sickest vibrato players as far as that goes. And then also in early Fleetwood Mac, so it was Peter Green and Danny Kerwin. Danny Kerwin is another guy. He's just insane. He has a unique, almost voice-like vibrato to his bending, and it's it's incredible. So between old Fleetwood Mac, Peter Green, Danny Kerwin, that has a lot to do with kind of how I do it. Also, Dickie Betts in the Allman Brothers. Everybody talks about, you know, Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. Well, to be honest, my hat goes to Dickie probably 80% of the time. I know that's a sin to say, but... You know, Dwayne was more ballsy, more more of a distorted tone, and Dickie is just super clean. But if you listen to Fillmore East, all of Dickie's solos, his vibrato on his bending is just out of this world. It's unreal. He's, he's un, an unbelievable player. And obviously, guys like Hendrix, things like that, you know, it's I'm not reinventing the wheel here with doing a whole step bend and doing vibrato out of it. Just to give you an idea, this is what I'm talking about. So you have your normal bend, but when you add vibrato, I love that. That's so cool. There's really two kind of things that you have to pay attention whenever you're practicing this. Number one, you really got to have bending down separately. And number two, you got to have vibrato down separately. So let's start with the number two one, the vibrato. So let's say, uh, by the way, I'm in D standard. I, I just got off tour, and so this is in all them which is D standard tuning. Whole step down. Something like that. Anyway, let's start on the B string. And I like, you know, for, for this exercise, start up high. You're not going to want to practice down here. There's way more tension down here. It's going to be harder to practice. So anywhere between, you know, the 7th and the 15th fret. Let's go ahead and be in D. Well, I guess technically that's a C. So I'm going to go on the B string. And we're going to be on the 13th fret and it's going to be my ring finger. And what I'm going to do here is just practice my vibrato. So go ahead, don't just use your, your, uh, your ring finger. Put all three fingers down, so your pointer is going to be your pointer is going to be on the uh, 11th fret B string, middle fingers on the 12th fret B string, and your ring fingers on the 13th fret B string. And we're going to use all three of those to practice this vibrato. A lot of what's happening here is my wrist is pulling away and going towards the, the, the neck of the guitar. And then also, my hand is kind of doing this, like back and forth real, real, real fast. So the actual vibrato is not really in the fingers. I mean, yeah, the fingers are moving, but that's because the entire unit is moving, is, is wiggling. So if, if your wrist 
and your hand are completely still and you're just trying to do your fingers, that's impossible. You can't do that. So you gotta move your whole hand and your wrist. And you gotta press down on it super hard. You should be feeling these muscles. Okay, now that we have that down, let's practice those bends. Now, if this is your first time hearing me talk about bends, go back a couple months. I have two videos about bending uh, that are great practices. So watch the, pause this video, watch those videos, and then come back to this. So anyway, these bends, whole step bends is what David wanted to know. We're going to be on the, on the 13th fret. And we're going to bend that note up to the 15th fret. That's a D. Again, I'm, I'm a whole step down, so technically that's a C. And I'm using all three of those fingers, remember? Now, what it looks like when I'm up here, my pointer is going to be... My pointer is on the 10th fret B string. My middle finger is on the 12th fret B string, and then the note, obviously, 13th fret ring finger. Now, put two and two together. So, go ahead and bend up to the note and hold it. Now, pick it again and practice your vibrato. And you'll realize, wow, that is a lot more movement than I need to do in your, in your, uh, in your wrist below, below your thumb. Start slow as well, if that's easier. and then progressively get faster. So the same goes for the E string as well, the high E. B, and then also the G string. So one thing that's important to note, whenever I do whole step or really any bending vibrato, I'm always bending up. I'm never going down. That, that doesn't sound like me. Some guys can do that, but I, I'm always bending up. I think it's more controlled. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys and like David, please, any questions you guys have about fretboard methods or like any technique stuff, just shoot me a message and I will make a video. I love the input from you guys and thank you so much.